The month is November. The year is 2022. The day of the birth that givest the foulest that thy given me is 25 years. <laughs> Dear diary, today is my 25th birthday. The day at which the wind suckles between my toes and the leaves crunch on the ground. I write to you on this day to talk about things I've learned from being an artist. It's been so interesting. <laughs> Someone's coming. Never mind. let's just get into this video. What is up, everybody? It's been a while since I picked up some oil pastels, but here's a reference photo. I'm doing a self-portrait because it, it was my birthday earlier this month. Um, unfortunately, I am getting this video super late because, uh, you know, I've been a little sad. My mental health hasn't been there. And in a way, this kind of reflects that. This portrait kind of reflects how I've been feeling lately. I've been kind of just ripping myself apart. And that's kind of what I, what I wanted to go for. Uh, originally, this was going to be like a spooky self-portrait. But in a way, I feel like I'm just eating away at myself, but I'm doing it to myself. So that's why I'm kind of, you, you saw the reference, I'm kind of ripping my skin apart. But anyways, let's get into the real bread and butter of this video. I'm going to give you guys some things I've learned being an artist over the last few years. Um, these are the things I've personally learned, so these are all my opinions. Listen, I'm not no guru, I don't know nothing about teaching nobody, so this is not a teaching moment, this is just some things that I hope can help other people. Maybe it is a teaching moment, but I'm no teacher. Anyway, let's start with number one. It is okay to not like a certain art medium, but it is irresponsible and ridiculous to not like something that you haven't tried yet. Period. I'm not going to elaborate. Number two, use color. Please, if you are a young artist and you're doing black and white sketches with graphite or charcoal or whatever, it is the time. It, if you're listening, hear me now. Hear me now. Use color. Put down that damn charcoal pencil, that graphite pencil. Listen, use color. Go get some color pencils. Go, go, go get some oil pastels. It'll change your life. Number three, I might get a little deep with this one, but skill and creativity are two different things. Listen, don't overthink this, but I believe skill is taught and creativity is something that you're born with. I feel like our creativity is at an all time high when we're like little kids, right? And when you grow older, you start to lose that. You don't tap into it as much. But when you're adults, we have the most skills. So why aren't we tapping into this creativity? Why don't we have both? So go go get creative. That's what, that's what I mean when I say go get creative. Have you ever met somebody who has like the craziest, coolest ideas, but have like never done anything with them? I feel like that's all creativity and no skill. And then vice versa, all the people who, you know, can do all this cool stuff, like all these skills, but they have no creativity behind it. I feel like that's, you know, that's a loss of soul. Where's the soul at? Anyways, in my opinion, they're both different, but at the same time, you need both. You need both to get things done. Ooh, I definitely might step on some toes with this one, but number four is bragging about how fast a piece took you. I used to do this. Listen, I used, I used to do this. Some people are like, oh my gosh, how long did it take you to do it? And I'll be like, oh, it took me like an hour or whatever, right? Thinking that was bragging, but then I look back at the piece and I'm like, damn, it looks like you spent an hour on that. You know what I mean? The, it's not the flex you think it is. Like, I don't talk about how long pieces take me anymore because that's my business, but sometimes it slips out. You know what I mean? Sometimes it slips out, but most of the time I just keep it to myself. Ooh, number five, this might ruffle some feathers, but your art does not have to start or end with a deep meaning. Like, like it's not that deep. Hashtag not that deep. It really is not that deep. If it brings you joy to make art, that art piece has a meaning. I saw artists talk about this not too long ago, and quite frankly, it kind of pissed me off. <laughs> I, I said it because the way they were talking about it was making it seem like if you don't have a meaning behind your art piece when you start it then what's the point then you probably shouldn't make it because you're not an artist what the hell does that mean what it's so elitist it's so pretentious don't believe in it don't fall into that rhetoric hear me out make art because it feeds your soul not just your wallet but if it does both you know two birds one stone i mean i'm a cough cough do your thing Damn, these all might just be a little controversial, but number six is the whole great artist steal quote is garbage. Listen, this is my opinion, but if you're looking at your artwork through that kind of lens, your heart and soul through that kind of lens, are you really even trying to make art? Like I've had people recreate my work and sell it and it felt horrible. And I used to think this quote was like, okay, like it's edgy, whatever. But in my opinion, this quote is hurt in the art community because it's all about greed. Like that quote is very greedy. Just because Baba Picasso said it doesn't mean it's a gospel. It, it's not the Bible. I don't know. Something's wrong with it. This is my opinion. Once again, uh, next. 
Number seven, your art is only as valuable as you make it. This is a fact. This is a fact. And you know what? I wish I could tell my younger self this, but I'm slowly learning it as an adult. It's the same as saying know your worth, right? Know your worth with your artwork. It's only as valuable as you make it. But I'm not really talking about monetarily. Like, you, you know, price your things however you want. But I'm talking about how you feel about your work. You know what I mean? Listen, hear me out on this next one. Because number eight is... You don't have to learn realism if you don't want to do commissions. Listen, once again, my opinion, but I feel like in the grand scope of things, most people who aren't like, you know, art people, right? Who just like, you know, appreciate art. Most of them will think that realism is the end all be all. Like if someone can do realism, oh, they're a great artist, right? They have, they must be super creative and all that. Not necessarily. But those same people will spend good money on a commission rather than like an abstract piece or something super contemporary. I guess what I'm trying to say is I wrote this down. With realism comes the most profit, but usually where creativity goes to die. Listen, I'm recording this at 5 a.m. and I've not slept yet. I might not be making much sense. That's fine. Let me just get these over with. <laughs> Number nine, don't get stuck in a genre. And that goes for everything in life, life, art, relationships, everything. But I guess when it comes to art, right, I don't want to just be known as just doing oil pastels. I got to love oil pastels, but I got to keep switching it up for my sake because I'm going to lose my mind if I only had to do oil pastels for the rest of my life. I would love to do a mural. I would love to do stop motion animation or like design as it. Sorry, I was burping as I was trying to get that sentence out, but squatty, 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 squatty. But um, I would love to like design a stop motion character or something sometime in my life. Anyways, dabble in so much more and not just stay in like a little niche or a genre of anything in life. I'm not like the other girls. Okay, number 10. This is the last one while I'm finishing up. This is for all my fellow content creators, people who post on social media and stuff like that. A lot, a lot of their work. Your biggest creation could be your biggest flop. So don't hoard all that content or artwork. There isn't going to be a perfect time to post it. Post it now. The longer you wait, the more unrealistic your expectations will be when you finally post it. So do it now. Get it over with. And this is actually just for me. This is for me to look back in the future. Anyways, this is all done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.